Hi everyone, it's Donna here, occasionally Jaja, and I'm here with a a couple of small projects, so a share for that, and then a couple of things I picked up um, uh, thrifting or on the internet. I'm going to start by showing you what I picked up. So what I picked up recently and uh, are these two half dolls. They're out of like a china, like a bone porcelain china. And they're either made in, in uh, Japan or in Germany. This one I have, this gal looks like she's from the 20s. I, I'm just basing that on her hairdo. Um, as you can see, she has a little uh, rose there. Um, and yeah, she's got a couple of holes here in the front. And that's where uh, whatever was she was on was attached. This one was made in Japan as you can see. Typically these are um, have a whisk broom attached to them and um, or sometimes um, they were pin cushions. So um, I'm going to be putting a tassel on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just make these into a couple of like tassel dolls. So this is the first one um, and I'll figure out how to do that. They can range in price. Um, I think, you know, I might have paid $10 or maybe maybe 10 in total with shipping. I could have paid $6 or something for it. So it is a porcelain like um, china and it is glazed. Um, so that's the first one. And I did pick up a couple of these reproduction ones with a whisk room attached um, at Ocean State Job Lots um, probably about four months ago. And I tucked them away in a drawer and I can't find them. But when I do, I'll show you those again. And I'm going to take the, those whisk rooms off because they're, they're real tacky looking. They're pink, I mean fluorescent pink, and but they are a porcelain and I am going to um, redo those as well. But And this one I just recently got. Again, this was an internet find. Um, and it looks like she's holding her scarf here in her hand. And she's got some pretty flowers in her hair and a and a hat. Um, actually, the flowers look like they're attached to the hat. This one, I believe, is Germany. I can just barely make it out here, but you can see here is where it was also attached. Either she sat on a pin cushion or a whisk broom or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I thought they were really pretty. So I'm going to be doing those gals over. And I'll put those in from my other little pieces there. The other thing that I wanted to show you that I did I did pick up um, recently, and this was at Savers, and I got five of these, and they are cigar boxes, but they're not like your regular paper um, coated cigar box. These are actually really nice boxes. They have a really nice wood grain. They're nicely finished. This is just a burnt um, embossing here. These are called my father's cigars, and it's also embossed there from Nicaragua. It also has the seal, so these are imported, and they have stickers everywhere. Now, what I liked about this, and you can see it was $4.99, and I think there were five, so I bought all of them because the boxes are really, really nice. You can see the wood grain. Also on the side, you're going to see that they're dovetailed. Um, very nice boxes. And when you open it up, on the inside again, um, this is embossed. Well, there's a piece of a ribbon in there. And then they have this real thin, um, it's almost like paper, but it's wood that separated it must have been two layers of cigars um, and so just to show you that's what the inside looked like and these actually these actually come out um, so that this with these these pieces you know um, here and here um, really make the lid fit snugly when you close it nice and snug um, However, you don't have to, so see how you have to just kind of push it a little bit to close it because of that. Otherwise, it would just be open, but I like it because it doesn't flop open, so it holds it pretty nicely. So I got five of these, but like I said, it's a, they're a really nice box. So 
That said, I'm going to show you something else that I received. <clears throat> Annie Miss Garden Grove had uh, put some kits online, and these were um, laces and um, oh, she had vintage ladies, and maybe you've seen them, but um, and I mean they were just gorgeous, and so I couldn't wait to get mine. I got mine, and Annie. You wrapped it perfectly. It was in bubble wrap and, and wrapped again in bubble wrap. And I mean, it was just totally protected. However, it was coming from Malaysia. And um, this is how my box arrived. So you're going to see, don't be discouraged when you see this like this, but I just wanted to show you how the box arrived. It was all crushed, and so I, I thought, I, no matter how I tried to fix it, I couldn't fix it. It really, it must have had something heavy laying on it. Everything inside is perfectly fine. It's just my box was crushed. So what I want to show you is what I did. And so by using the laces that came in here and the gal on the front, I changed it up a bit. So this is what I did. Now I used one of those cigar boxes. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is this is my box. Let me just move the camera up just a hair. So everything on here came I think there's maybe one or two things that were from my stash. Otherwise everything was from this kit that Miss Annie sent. So uh, I'll start. I happened to get the kit that was um, avocado dyed because I haven't dyed any uh, avocado skins lately and I actually have nothing left so it was good to get this. Um, what I did use though is I did take this uh, brocade fabric that I had. I did uh, one of my shoes in this and I put that on the bottom you know on the base of the box on the lid actually. <clears throat> I removed the gal here when she's got this beautiful, beautiful dress. I don't know if you can see that, how clear that is, but it's a beautiful dress. And uh, she has a parasol here, and Annie has just, you know, embellished her right out all the way to her hat, everything. And I love this image, and I wanted to keep it. So I took this lace that was in the box and put it on this side and I popped her on top because she is a little deeper pink and I wanted, I knew she wouldn't show up very well on this pink so I wanted something behind her. Then I went inside the box and I took out different um, laces and I just started embellishing my box. So I have... Um, I've cut some here, this particular piece, which was beautiful. She had some uh, little bit of wedding dress applique here, which is all avocado dyed. A pretty little uh, rose flower here. This came in the kit. So all this came in the kit, except for this right here that you see, this fabric. She made these little flowers, which I put into a cluster here. So we have this little chiffon flower. This one here, which I popped a pearl, and I had a pearl the very same color. This is like a tan. Um, and then she also avocado, this avocado dyed this white little chiffon flower. And underneath, I stuck some more of that um, lace here, here. So you can see around the perimeter of the box, what also came in it, as you can see, was this lovely... Um, uh, trim here. It's almost like a tool trim, a fringed tool trim. And so I put that around the bottom part of the box and I trimmed it out with some uh, braid that I had. So otherwise I added a little bit more uh, to a dangle here. She, these, All these dangles were included in the kit and um, except for this little rhinestone piece, a couple of rhinestones I put in there. Um, so I just put a little bit more there. The other thing I did add was uh, I added four feet to the box, and these are those uh, Tim Holtz feet. But just so you can see, and I just think it sits so pretty. So there's my little box, as you can see. And the best part is inside because 
these were all such special laces that were in this kit that Annie sent. I did not want to um, get these mixed up with any of my others. I wanted to keep them separate and special. So when I needed something um, that is avocado dyed, I can go right to this box that holds just avocado, uh, avocado dyed laces. So let me show you um, what that is. So. So let me open it. Okay. So when you open it, this is my box. And it is beautiful. And I think I have a loose foot here. I'll have to double check on that. But anyway, um, so this is it. So on the inside, I put this braided trim. I did put um, some of this paper here. I think this was from the Parisian... Um, high on um, collection and so also in the kit Annie had sent these little cards just to show you here let me set that there these little cards and they had this this one here has um, these are my little close pins here but this one has a couple of teacups on it very cute that came in the kit and everybody knows if you've ordered anything from Annie it's gorgeous and over here on this particular card I have two purses and yeah they move a little bit the little handles uh, with a couple of high heels which she has just embellished so nicely loaded with sparkles so this lace came in the kit and I put this here to hold these things so um, yeah so I get to store everything here I thought just to add to this I had these I had about four different vintage tags somebody sent me these um, on a previous uh, thing and I just love them and I thought they were perfect in here and then if I just tip the box up a little bit, whoops, if I tip the box up, you're going to see all the contents that came. So this is still loaded with stuff. I already embellished the box, and I've still got all this stuff. So I've got another flower here. I've got another flower here. These I absolutely love, 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 love. She's put these clusters together. They're gorgeous beautiful beautiful those are going to be for something special I still have some of this trim that is left she put all these on close pins one whole uh, one close pin had the uh, ruffle trim on it and I've just got a little piece of that left um, but you know she just packages everything so nicely um, I've got different shades of avocado dyed. You might be able to see some darker than the other. I've got some cutout laces here that are also avocado dyed. If I go down underneath, you're going to see all the tassels in there. I mean, this is still just loaded. But what I like about this is I now have a box that isn't crushed that is going to last me a long time that will you know, house all my avocado dyed pieces. Um, oh yeah, she sent this other little piece here. It's a dress form with these pearls. I'm sorry for the hand in the way. There we go. Um, other laces, and again, like I said, these, are, and they're beautiful. These are all um, dyed with avocado skins. So. I mean, if you want to see more of these, you can go to her um, her website. Um, <clears throat> God, my voice. I feel like I sound like I just woke up. Ugh, it's raining here. and Maybe that's it. I'm just, I had the day off and I'm just a little tired. Um, but I think I slept last night pretty well. Look at that. That's beautiful, too. A nice, a pretty little bow. So, anyway... I just wanted to show you what I did with the cigar box and how I have all my beautiful um, avocado skin dyed embellishments and laces here. 
that I will store and have to chew, you know, to work out of. It's such a beautiful little box. So, again, that's it. There we go. Oh, there's a side angle. Okay. So, that's it for now. Oh, actually it's not. One last thing I will show you, let me move this over, is I made a couple of stick pins. And so here they are. I have to tell you, I love these resin pieces. If you can see that, these are, um, I think I got them at Joann's. And I've been to a few different Joann's. Some of them carry them now, some of them do not, but it's a calla lily. And I've made it into um, a stick pin. There's one. And here's the other one. They come on a string and they're in the bead section. And here's my other one. And will it focus? It may not. Um, and this one's just a very light pink. And I've got uh, another bead and a spacer in between. But I thought they were so pretty. So, two new stick pins. I mean, they'd go great on there. But uh, anyway, I've got someplace else that these are going to go. And I'll show you that uh, when I get it. But anyway, so I made those. That's it for now. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.